Another celebrity looking to clear the air about reputation <laughs> is Tyrese. Tyrese took the social media at a 20 minute long video showing receipts to prove that he did not disrespect DJ Emmy's wife as Envy claimed in a recent Breakfast Club interview. Now, Tyrese later called DJ Envy a liar, claiming he was communicating with Envy and his wife regularly before he was allegedly blocked by them. All right, y'all. Question, is Tyrese out to get DJ Envy, or do you think there's more to this feud than we know about? Let's go to you first, Q. Um, Tyrese and his antics, Britney Spears and her antics, and Kanye and his antics literally are enough for me to want to resign from this genre of media. It's just so frustrating having to talk about Tyrese. Tyrese, you got on The Breakfast Club and said you had absolutely no memory of doing what they accused you of doing. Yet you kind of knew exactly where to go to find what they accused you of doing. It, it's, it's just a lot. And I think what's frustrating all of us the most with Tyrese it would be different if he was one of those black men that we wouldn't mind throwing away. And there's a few of them. You know, th th there's some that we don't care about. I'm not going to name any names. But you were one of the ones, Tyrese, that did almost two decades of being unproblematic, a role model, breaking down the music charts, breaking down the, the, the movie charts. And then it's like out of nowhere, you just became a pain in everyone's ass. And it's just frustrating trying to figure out why, what's going on with you and how to get you back on track. I 100% believe DJ Envy and, and, and DJ Charlemagne. If the way you act on social media is slightly indicative of how you act with your friends, it's not hard to believe them, Tyrese. And you're not making things better with your erratic bipolar behavior. So yes, Tyrese did exactly what they said he did and then some, if you let me tell it. Okay. Al, what do you think? I don't know. I don't think, I don't think it's that simple. I think something about this story just doesn't fit right with, sit right with me. The question to me is who's lying. Now, this is what we know. We know that DJ Envy stepped out on his wife. And his wife and DJ Envy credit Tyrese for saving their marriage. Now, this is a deal. But why is DJ Envy's wife texting Tyrese so much? Because according to the article, Tyrese and G what's her name? Gia? Yeah. Gia? Yeah. Developed a strong bond through text. And because Tyrese was demanding of her time and set a list of expectations is what led to the blocking. Now, think about this, everybody. Like, how, mm, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what it is, but something in the milk ain't clean. That's all I got to say. Why is this man's wife texting Tyrese so much to the point where Tyrese feels like he can set expectations, a list of expectations, and also that he's too demanding of her time? But why are you putting the onus on her? He's shown that he's crazy. Could the answer simply be he was looking for that because he's crazy? Why does it have to be she was texting him so much that he developed an expectation? Well, that's what the article said. So I'm just I'm just sharing oh. you with what, what, the, what the facts say on the situation, which was they developed a very strong bond from texting. And then it went left when he started giving her a list of expectations and being de very demanding of her time. For me, if you did anything inappropriate to me in the first couple of exchanges of texts, it would have been done. I would, it wouldn't have never got to a list of expectations and demanded my time. I'm not gonna let Gia be out there by herself because it wasn't just Gia texting Tyrese, they were texting each other. And I've actually been in a situation, I know y'all gonna call me soldier boy, but I'm 50, I've had a lot of life experiences. I've been in a relationship where we were over and the friend was asked to step in to try to help get us back together. And actually the friend started having feelings because they saw bonding with you. I totally understand this story. Now, here's my thing. Gia has never been problematic. Tyrese has been problematic and he's been on these psychiatric drugs. So why is it so hard to believe that the problem lies on him? I think that at one point, he was in a calm, cool place. Because why else would you let a man talk to your wife if you didn't think he was crazy at one point? At one point, you had to think yeah. highly of Tyrese, right? To let him talk to his wife. Or you don't just throw your wife to the wolves like, here, go talk to this crazy man. And then over the course, I could see him being a little inappropriate. Tyrese has a huge sense of entitlement. 
Anyone who's ever met Tyrese knows this about Tyrese. Anyone who's ever done work with him, they know how he acts. He's a very big narcissist, in my opinion. Okay, so I could totally see him feeling like, I'm entitled to your time. You got me used to talking to you. So now I'm, I'm, I'm a trip. That's what I think. I don't think this is a, I don't think this lies. I don't think Gia and, and Envy are in the wrong on this one. I really don't. Because Tyrese is doing this with more than one people, person. He's always fighting with somebody. He's fighting with all of his ex-wives, his baby mamas, his ex-group members. At the some court. point. <laughs> huh? What'd you say? But, uh, okay, so let's use that hypothesis then. If you know that this guy fights with everybody, this long laundry list that you said that he fights with, then why are you leaning on him for advice and texting him and creating a strong bond? I'm not saying that there was anything inappropriate. I'm just saying it should have never been in that situation from the beginning. Well, like I said, he wasn't always looked at as crazy. I think this is something that's like the last five, six years of Tyrese. And they that issue with their marriage happened way before because this was to ever come in. Remember, it was like mm -hmm. a while back. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like someone that wasn't really crazy back then, but now they show their ass. But I, don't know. I, I think with Tyrese and Envy, I think this is not going to be over for a while. Don't you think it's going to keep on going? I think it is over. I think it, 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 in terms of the friendship, that the best way to end it. Oh, the friendship, yeah. Yeah. And men tend to be a bit more succinct than women. Just let it be done. We ain't friends no more, so there's no more explanation or going round and round needed. We ain't friends no more. And let's just leave it at that. I wish Tyrese would focus on his new relationship and nurture that or himself, his own mental health.